From the technical aspect, Corey Dallas John Huswell is an amazing substance. The extract of Corey Dallas John Huswell, as we're about to review, has been shown to reduce the need for elevated dosaging, in this case in the animal study of morphine, as well as reduce tolerance or buildup of tolerance to morphine, and in this case as well, in the animal study, reverse opiate addiction itself. Now, Corey Dallas John Huswell is not a new discovery. Corey Dallas John Huswell has been utilized in traditional medicine for centuries. So it has a very decent track record. However, though, in this animal model, what we're going to do is we'll look at the dosaging utilized in the animal model, but at the same time, too, what is incredibly, incredibly amazing, fast acting results. And you couldn't have more profound time than the opiate crisis that we have today in order to bring this to light. Keep in mind, these researchers have been researching Corey Dallas, John Huswell for many years, but still, even today, with its pressing need, is somehow underneath the radar. But with that in mind, let us go into the research as follows. UC Irvine finds medicinal plant extract to prevent morphine addiction. I'm just quoting, I am not adding publisher bias. Findings point to herbal treatment to potentially help curb the opiate epidemic. And this is what case we're talking about Jan Huswell Corydalis, Jan Huswell. The extract of the plant Corydalis, Jan Huswell prevents morphine tolerance and dependence while also, quoting, reversing opiate addiction. According to a recent study led by the University of California, Irvine, these findings were published in October issue 2021 of the Journal of Pharmaceuticals. Over the past two decades, dramatic increases in opiate overdose mortality have occurred in the United States and other nations. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the the opiate epidemic has only worsened, and all of us are a testament to that. The documented effects of YHS, I'm just going to read it verbatim, of the extract of the plant, Corey Dallas, Jan Huswell, could have an immediate positive impact to curb the opiate epidemic. Henceforth, why we want to bring attention to it now because it is pressing, it is here, it is available. Just get the human studies into play and wow, it can yield potentially great benefit to society as a whole to proceed. Quote, it is critical that we decrease the use and abuse of opiates. According to the researcher, to help achieve this goal, we are proposing the use of this therapeutic plant. When used in animals, the Corydalis extract prevents pain and the negative effect of opiate use. The next step would be to test it with humans. A possible solution consists of a co-medication that maintains the analgesic benefit of opiates, opiates, opioids, while preventing their adverse liabilities. The research findings show that YHS, when co-administered with morphine, inhibits morphine tolerance, dependence, and addiction. I will reiterate, when co-administered with morphine inhibits morphine tolerance, dependence, and addiction. If YHS is used with morphine at the start or during pain management, there will be less need of morphine and thus less risk of addiction. YHS has been used in analgesic in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. It is considered safe and readily available for purchase either online or as botanical in certain grocery stores. That is a quote from the researcher itself. What they're trying to basically emphasize here, it is not a rare extract that requires complicated production or supply logistics. It's here, it's there, it's now. Let's get the human trials going. To proceed, as expected, mice treated with morphine at 2.5 milligrams a kilogram for seven days exhibited significant science withdrawal behaviors. All right, now we're going into the full study itself, which I'll have the link to, so you can review it on your own as well. Switching treatment from morphine alone to morphine at 2.5 milligrams a kilogram plus YHS 250 milligrams a kilogram completely, completely prevented and may indeed have reversed opiate, opioid tolerance or should say opioid dependence. Please forgive me on that. Similarly, animals treated with morphine at 2.5 milligrams a kilogram for three days and then switched to YHS also showed 
No signs of persisting morphine dependence. That is just profound. Can you imagine the impact, the positive impact that could have on society as a whole if basically this research plays out to be accurate and is incorporated into basically modern medicine where YHS is basically uh, used in conjunction with morphine, but not only that, to reduce dependence and withdrawal symptoms, and also at the same time to potentially be utilized in an aspect of helping reverse opiate addiction if the human trials uh, basically emulate what happens here in the animal trials. To proceed, mice that were treated initially with morphine, going down the list a little bit, then switched to either YHS, 250 milligrams a kilogram, or morphine at 2.5 milligrams a kilogram plus YHS at 250 milligrams a kilogram reversed any addiction-like behavior in the animal model or mice. Quote, I'm going to conclude it right here with this statement from the abstract, which is also the link to the full study because it says it best. Here we go. Quote, we show that in animals, YHS can increase the efficacy of morphine antinocisceptive and as such decrease the need of the opioid. We then show that YHS, when co-administered with morphine, inhibits morphine tolerance, dependence, and addiction. Finally, we show that in animals treated for several days with morphine, YHS can reverse morphine dependence and addiction. Together, these data indicate that YHS may be useful as a co-medication in morphine therapies to limit adverse morphine effects. Because YHS is readily available and safe, it may have an immediate positive impact to curb the opioid epidemic. And with that in mind, let us go right into basically the dosaging that was used in the animal model itself. We'll dwell on that in a second. And they'll proceed basically to the, um, the cover of the full study. Now, I want to show you something here too as well. We are in the age of great research. But great research, for some other reason, almost needs its own marketing channels per se. Here you have incredible, incredibly profound research in reference to the extract of Corey Dallas, Jan Huswell. How many likes do you see? It's been out since October 12th. And on top of that, Corey Dallas, John Huswell has been researched uh, by many institutions as well as being utilized for centuries in traditional medicine, Chinese medicine, or Chinese traditional medicine, I should say, because Corey Dallas, John Huswell is using a large swath of the globe. And yet, a thumbs up, wouldn't that be motivation per se? But besides that, let us get right into basically the conclusion here. We'll have the link. So looking at the extract of Corey Dallas, Yan Hu Suo, please forgive me if I mispronounced that or pronounced it inappropriately. Um, not a lot of uh, examples of the pronunciation of Corey Dallas, Yan Hu Suo, especially the two words together, but still, just the same, you get the drift. It is an incredibly, incredibly viable herbal tool that can even be used in conjunction with pharmaceuticals, as well as potentially in reduction of opiate dependency provided the human studies emulate the animal studies. And we all know individuals which are succumbing or have become addicted to opiates. Why not? Why is this just sitting here on the back burner? Let's bring it to the forefront, start asking medical professionals reference to Corey Dallas, John Huswo, and let's see if it pans out because it has anywhere near the same effects in this animal study as it does with humans and wow, what an incredible, incredible amount of good these researchers brought to the attention of this society. Again, gratitude to the researchers. I'm just humbled by this research as well as being humbled by you, the audience. And I hope this information comes of use and hopefully we hear more about it in the future. But we only can hope. Gratitude, thank you. I look forward to you all once again next week. Corey Dallas, Jan Huswell. See you next time.